hi welcome back to my channel i'm monique like i told you guys before we would do uh design projects nails on the go for beginners wigs for beginners you know this is just makeup and stuff like that for beginners because i had to learn how to do things because i don't like to pay people i want to be kind of cheap but i want to look good too so if you want to learn some little hacks and tips that work for me that probably can work for you too this is a channel for you but today we're gonna do a little mukbang i have kimchi flavored noodles and <clears throat> i've watched a couple youtubes on noodles mukbangs or whatever and a lot of them were on like the kimchi noodles and these have little um spam pieces in it that i cut up because i've seen a lot of them had that in it which um this looks really yummy so we're gonna see what this is about and for the drink we have a bud light lime that we already have poured into a cup to the side all right but we're gonna have like a little story time and we're gonna tell you guys about the time that me and my friend tricked our parents is thinking we were at each other's houses so she can spend a night with her boyfriend. <clears throat> I was like 17, so she had to be about to be 16. Because it was like early September, right before her birthday. So I had like a job during school hours. So I went to school from like 7 to 11. And from like 11 to 2, I got credit to do you know work and i worked at the dollar tree at this point in time that's another that's another story to tell but i worked at the dollar tree at this point in time and like we kind of like told our parents these little stories like oh mom her mom's gonna pick me up from work and we're gonna go head on and you know go out and things of that nature nothing that i've never done before and you know <clears throat> she told her mother you know Oh, mom, I'm going to go over there. You know, we're going to kick it for the weekend. Nothing that we haven't, like, done before, you know. So, I went on by my normal day. It's a Friday. Went on ahead and went to school. Went to work. And after work, you know, she met me at my job. Which I live kind of close to her boyfriend. So, it wasn't no big deal. So, okay, we get there. We chilling. And, you know, we were all having a broad conversation, but no one told me that the girl that was there, that was the brother's, other brother's girlfriend at the time, had, you know, a baby with each one of them. So, like, she was, like, their sister wife. So, that was kind of odd to find out. And I kind of, like, pulled my friend to the side and was like, hey, you know, why wouldn't you tell me this and like why would you let this like kind of slide up through a conversation because <clears throat> I'm the type of person you gotta tell me going in because like if you don't tell me going in and I just find out I'm candidly gonna be like what type of shit is this like we got swinging shit going on but that's neither here nor there that's not even the interesting part of this story yet interesting part of the story is she has a baby with my friend's boyfriend and the dude she's seeing now and the dude's brother how don't know don't even care but we're all candidly chilling relaxing my other brother comes over all right i'm just like bitch you don't feel awkward like what the fuck okay so our parents like finally call after being there after like two hours so we kind of let the phones ring and then go in the room get our little story together and stuff like that so me knowing that my mom trusts her mom she's not gonna want to talk to her so it's not even a Oh, let me speak to her mom and make sure you where you're at because I wasn't a bad kid, so she didn't really have to do that. Like all that chewing and clawing you hear, that's my dog in the cage. Um But I wasn't a bad kid, so she didn't have to worry about that. So that was never neither that. Neither was she, so my mom didn't really worry about the girl who I was with. Like I said, I'm not gonna say any names. 
or anything because the people who watch this video who know me know who they are so this is like <laughs> funny so we get to later on in the night so the sister wife goes in the room and I'm just out there with the brothers and my friend. So one of the brothers like kind of candidly tried to push up on me and stuff like that. I'm like, look, dude, <clears throat> not here for that. I heard the little stories from a friend. Don't want no parts of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here for that for real. You get me? And you ain't my type. So with that being said, I kind of swoop night with it. But my friend's kind of like, oh, okay, woo, woo, woo. So we kind of go back to the room and, you know, me, her, and her boyfriend. So we kind of like chilling ourselves. I'm like, all right, y'all, I'm getting sleepy. They was like, all right. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go out on the couch or whatever. So they gave me blankets. The brother went in the room with the sister wife. The other brother, you know, laid on the other couch. No, they don't. This one came to me out. Now, mind you. The TV's on in the room that the other brother's in, the room that my friend is in, and in the living room. But, hmm, over all three TVs, you can hear the sister, wife, and the brother fucking, excuse the PDA, having intercourse. And you can hear my friend and the other brother. So it's like me and this one brother who's trying to talk to me on the couch and he's like oh they're having fun and i want to have fun and i'm just looking at this dude like you want to do that you want to have what oh not with me no you don't oh you 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 uh no sir no first dates no none of that with me ain't going on wrong friend need another one but it was like really Funny to me because no matter how hard my friend was like, oh, I think they could hear it. They could hear it. It was trying to be quiet. It's like he tried to make her be louder because she was trying to hide it. And the other one, she was just going for it. Uh, uh. And I'm like, oh my God. Did y'all forget y'all got guests? No, nope, y'all didn't. Mm -mm. But I'm like, oh my God. I'm like really by the best wingman in my head because like my friend is like scoring, scoring with a boyfriend. Scoring. I'm like, I'm glad that I had like an effort strength because a lot of people would be like, oh yeah, so everybody's doing it, so I'm gonna be pressured to do it. No, 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 no. You never let anyone pressure you into doing anything you don't want to do or you don't think it's right for yourself. You got to know about yourself. You don't put yourself in candy predicaments where you think, oh, that person's not going to respect me. One thing I knew about these people, they knew how to respect boundaries. That's why I wasn't like worried about, oh, them doing it around me and me telling him, no, I didn't. Because that nigga fell asleep. Excuse me. That man fell asleep. And he snored so loud. And I'm like, oh my God. And I'm like, God damn. You snoring over the movie. Did he smoke? And he, ah, just a wild night. And I'm just like the wingman of the year in my head. But like, I never thought about that until like later on in life. Like, I real lives lied to my parents. To hold somebody else out. And they end up having a baby from it. And I'm like, yeah, damn. When we thought about it, I'm like, bitch, is that that night? Then we snuck out. Did you get back pregnant with your baby then? I mean, we don't really talk as much more anymore, like me and her. But I am, like, really good friends with the brothers still. And, I mean, we talk. You know, that will always be my friend and things of that nature. But... I never, ever just thought that that was candidly going to happen that night, you know? That's just, like, crazy. Mm. But, things you do for your friends, you know? But, another note 
like I said before, you should never, like, be put in a predicament to where if you say no, don't stop, don't do. People should always respect your boundaries. You should know what type of people you're dealing with. And if you don't feel comfortable with those people, you shouldn't deal with them. I've always felt comfortable with the people I dealt with. So, I don't really have any really like bad stories to say about people or anything like that i mean one but not like really but majority of the stories that i have are just like who knew you did shit like that because you were just so quiet and people be like oh she was weird back in high school who knew she was like that and da 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 yeah the weird ones are the ones that always have the fun but you guys can let me know more of what you would like to see know on this channel because like I said I'm a beginner at a lot of things um yes I know how to do a lot of things it's very good and things of that nature but I'm a beginner I'm not licensed. Yes, I'm trying to go to school for a lot of these things that I am doing, but you know, nah. Just got into like doing wigs and things of that nature, so that's one of the things you're really gonna candidly see on this page is like decorative things, um, family vlogs. I have a son who is eight years old um my bad i have a son that is eight not who is eight years old that is eight um and you know i kind of like to have fun with him and things of that nature but other than that you know that's all i really like to do i work i hmm, do a lot so I mean, it's a lot you can learn from this channel. It's a lot you can get from out of this. Um, like I said, if you like to see, like, on hands cooking things, I have more of those coming up. But this is, like, the second video on this channel. And I'm just trying to, like, really get content out to people and see what little I can give, share, and bring. Um, negativity. None. Please, here, please. Just leave that at the door. You know what I'm saying? But just let me know what you guys like to see. Hmm. Let's see if I can find another like short story to tell you guys. To like give you another insight on to who I am. I'm like really funny, handing. And things of that nature. So, I'm 29. I am a Aquarius. Um, I like to have fun. Like, I like art, music, all types of music, really. If you ever really look at a playlist that I ever post here, you'll be like, I never knew she listened to things like that. All types of music, all genres. I'm well eclectic. Oh, excuse me. I'm well eclectic. Um, I've been married for like the last four years, so you'll see him a little bit on this channel. You'll see like my parents, family life, all of that on the channel, you know. Um, I don't know. You know, just take a ride with me in this journey that i'm agreeing to share and i'm just like if you come here we'll have fun you'll like the majority of the videos some of them you might not like some of them you might not like the opinion on it or anything of that nature so i mean you're entitled to your opinion but come on take a ride with me it'll be fun so i mean I'll see you guys back again later. Um, my next video probably will be a beginner nails tutorial on how to be made link for yourself, you know? Because you can't keep handing people all that money. So catch me on that one. And 
you know, I'll see you guys next time.